The travel time matrix macro is perfect for calculating the journey times between lots of origins and lots of destinations in one go. It can also calculate true distance for walking, cycling, and driving journeys. To access the macro from Alteryx, you can either find it in our travel time platform set of tools in the top navigation, or we can just search for it in the search bar. Here we've got a workflow with the travel time matrix macro already added in, and we're going to walk through how this works. So in this case, I've got two input files. I've got a file here, which is a hundred origins, and these have a lat long um, associated to each of them. I've got a second file, which is going to be my destinations. And this is five cities across the UK. And again, these already have a lat long. If you didn't have lat long coordinates for either of these, you could use the travel time geocoder macro as an initial step to first get those coordinates before using the travel time matrix macro. So we have our two files and we then just use an append fields tool to combine these into one file, which is then the input for the travel time matrix macro. So to configure the macro, we click on it. The first thing we need to do is to enter our API key details. You can always find your travel time API key details by logging into the, your travel time account. On the configuration tab, we have to select the lat long fields that we want to use for our departure locations. So I'm pulling these from my file of 100 different locations. And then we select the lat long fields we want to use for our uh, arrival locations. So I'm pulling these from our, our file with five different locations. We can also choose them whether we want to run an arrival search. So I want to get to these arrival locations at a certain time or a departure search, which is I want to leave my departure locations at a certain time. In the basic tab, we can pick our mode of transport. So in this case, I'm going to use public transport and we can choose uh, day of the week, the specific arrival or departure time and time zone, etc. Finally, in the advanced tab, there are some uh, more granular parameters that we can configure if we want to. Um, things like how long do you let someone walk for as part of the public transport journey? We pre-populate these with sort of sensible default values, and I'm going to leave them as they are for now. So the output of this macro will be each row will have a metric. So it might be the distance or the travel time, and then it will have one origin, one destination, and the, the value of the metric. So to create a, a matrix, what I'm doing here is first of all, adding on a filter to say, I just want to look at the travel time. In this case, I could just as easily set this to to filter just for the metric distance if I wanted to look at, say, driving distances. And then I'm just using a, a cross tab tool to turn um, this sort of tabular output into a matrix where along the top, I will have the five different offices. And then each row will be one of the 100 different um, locations. And we will be summing up the value, which is in this case, the travel time. So we'll get a matrix of origins um, along the side, destinations along the top and travel times as the, um, the metric. So now we run the workflow. Should take about 15 seconds or so. And now if we click on our successful or our browse output, we can see along the top, we have our five destinations. Along the side, we have our 100 different um, departure locations. 
And then in the middle, we have our travel times, and these are in seconds. The reason for any null values might be a couple of things. It might be that the travel time is more than four hours, which is the maximum that we support by default. Or it might be, in the case of public transport, that there's just no possible public transport journey between these locations. Um, potentially, this postcode is, is just not close enough to any public transport infrastructure. So that is the travel time matrix macro. Great for calculating lots of travel times incredibly quickly.